Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today I wanted to talk about gas prices. We all know that they're high. It doesn't matter what corner of the US you live on, gas prices are $5 plus. In my particular area here, I'm actually paying $7 a gallon. So needless to say, that is quite the barrier, guys. And especially at a time where we're trying to get out there, age case is dropping. We got to get that new Jaguar Super Treasure Hunt and, you know, the Mini Cooper Treasure Hunt. And there's actually quite a few main lines that I'm trying to get out of the age case myself, too. So like the dark green Jeep Grand Cherokee, the Lotus Elise, it might be a G case car, but nonetheless, it's one that I need a couple more just to add to my collection. There's a new Ryu Asada NSX in blue, which looks really good. Got to get one of those as well, too. So again, there's just plenty of cars out there that I believe all of us collectors are trying to get at. And again, gas prices are just keeping us on the couch, right? So I think I found the answer, guys, the solution to our problems. OK, OK, maybe not a complete solution, but I think what I have here is a nice compromise that keeps you on your couch. You don't have to jump in your car, you don't have to fill up at seven plus dollars a gallon, and you can still get some of the latest Hot Wheels that are getting out there. So what I got here, guys, is a 50 pack of Hot Wheels that I purchased off of Amazon for around $54, right? So 50 cars, that comes out to about a dollar and eight cents per car, which is pretty much retail, right? I mean, you're paying a dollar for a car plus tax. I mean, it's, you know, maybe it's like, three cents more than what you would typically pay at like your Walmarts or your Targets, right? But pretty much retail. It's coming straight to your door. You don't even have to get up there. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you guys what's inside. And there you have it, guys. That's my cheat code. That's how you get HK's cars sent to your door you don't even have to jump in your car you don't have to go and fill up at the pump all the latest cars ship right to your door so let's take these out i want to give you guys a better look at each one of these and just see if this is something that you'd be interested in um, because again i know again a lot like you guys i'm not trying to aimlessly drive around town looking for something that may or may not be there or Maybe hunters have already gone through and picked everything off, and, and in that situation, you're you're totally just wasting your time, right? So let me get some of these cars out and take a better look here. So first up, I mean, again, I'm just gonna pull out the highlights for you guys. I'm sure you guys don't want to see all the fantasy casts. I'm sure we can get that surprise when we go to the stores. But I would say this is probably gonna be the most sought after mainline out of these boxes so this is out of the hks this is the 95 jeep grand cherokee i mean just a classic car I, I grew up with this car driving around town everywhere it's got capability it's got nostalgia i mean this is such an awesome cast and they got it looking all extra rugged with all this extra mountain gear on it and everything like that so i mean super popular cast there's one of these let's see what else is in there uh, we got this Ford GT40, Mark IV, in white, Ford Bronco recolor in red, got the classic Range Rover and turquoise, Baja Bug, there's actually two of these things, so I know some folks, I know the VW folks. You know they're looking for these oh i guess the other thing that i probably should have mentioned too is that all these cars come on short cards too so added bonus in case you're a short card collector or you know i think everybody knows that in general short cards are you know a little bit more scarce right so um there's not a lot of retailers that sell short cards pretty regularly um so it's pretty neat you know i know these are just main lines but it adds that one level of rarity just being a short card got the McLaren F1 GTR so this is actually one that I've been looking forward to I think this color scheme looks really good um, you know it's got the orange accents on this brilliant shimmer gray let's see here 
it's interesting that this is such an odd mix because this is H case, but <laughs> we have a uh, EK9 Honda Civic. Actually, two of them. There's actually one on in the bottom corner there, too. I should get that out before the blister uh, explodes on me. So we got two EKs. Team Hot Wheels liveried Shelby Cobra. EV GMC Hummer. So this is the uh, 2020 Jaguar F-Type. So this would be the Super Church Hunt coming out of the F-Case. I, I will say that in my experience buying these 50 count cases from Amazon, I've never seen a Super Treasure Hunt. I think I've seen one Treasure Hunt come out of these. So definitely don't buy this if you're looking for Super Treasure Hunts. I, I think these 50 count boxes are really more for folks that are just looking for the, the newer main lines, you know, trying to beat the rush and, you know, still paying a, roughly a dollar a piece, right? But it's still neat. I mean, it's still neat to get this car on a short card, um, given that it is the super for the case. Yes, so this is one that I was looking for. So the reuse rides Acura NSX in blue. So, I mean, it just... Looks good, nice color. Here's the other that I was looking for. So this is the Lotus Elise Sport in white. So I do know this is gonna be recolored later as well too, but this is one that I have not seen in stores and again, just happy to have it, uh, even if it's on short card. So this one just kind of popped out, but it is a licensed car, so the Alfa Romeo 8C. some other notables coming out of here so again this was H case as well too but the Ford GT in blue pretty similar to the NSX um, you got the recolor of the Jeep Gladiator boiler graphics with the dual bikes in the back you got the Mazda RX-3 so again guys all G case all H case cars Again, I've, I've seen plenty of YouTube Hot Wheel hunting videos where folks are just striking out because, you know, they're just late to the pegs or, you know, maybe stores haven't put out yet. So, again, this is a decent option for not having to get in your car and do anything. Um, this here, this is the Dimancini Velos. So, I know this is a fantasy cast, but... Hot Wheels did a really good job at making it look pretty realistic. It does look pretty neat too, so I'm sure some folks are going to be looking for this one. Got uh, Porsche 935. Again, I think this color combination looks pretty stealth and just neat again to have it in a short card. Oh yeah, you guys know I like these. So Subarus, recolored in red pretty good the hatchback too so I, I do wish they would bring back the hatchback for the STI I mean at this point I just wish they would bring back the STI but fingers crossed I hopefully they, they bring it back better than ever uh, I think we're down to just some fantasy cast here uh, another red Ford Bronco got a BMW R9T racer so this is a motorbike I think this is actually new for 2022 as well too so um, definitely a nice one there let's see here we got the blue recolor of the Ford Sierra Cosworth so I know that's a pretty popular so we actually got two of those getting down to the bottom here guys got a uh, <clears throat> 1970 Honda N600 there's actually two of these so there's the other one Another Porsche, this one I know is pretty popular. I think the color scheme kind of speaks for itself, but the Porsche 935 again, but this time in the blue with the larger wing. Yeah. So there's one of those. 
another addition to the Hot Wheel Green Speed, the Lucid Air. And this one, I believe this was G or H case. So again, one that flies off the shelf pretty quick just because of what it is, because it's a new cast for this year. Oh, look, nice. Another Jeep Grand Cherokee in dark green. So I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we got another Ford GT40. I got another uh, Shelby Cobra. Another one of these Porsches, 935. Got a Drifta. We got a Ford Mustang 2005, silver recolor. I think that's it. Sierra Cosworth. So I think we actually got three of these. Uh, everything else in here is. We got another Ford Mustang Mach E. I think that's it. Everything else in here is just a fancy cast. Not really worth going through. But I mean, everything that I pulled out was a licensed car, and that's the majority of the cars. I mean, there's probably what 10 cars, 12 cars left in here. They're all fancy casts. So, pretty awesome deal if you guys ask me. And just doing a quick search on eBay sold listings too. I mean, some of these 2022 mainline short cards are selling for a decent amount, right? So, for instance, the Jeep Cherokee, the dark green one, it's selling for about $5 right now. The EK9s are selling for about $5 a piece. You know, you got the blue Acura NSX that's selling for about 2 to $3. The Porsche 935s are going for about two to three dollars. So you can honestly say, on average, um, you know, there are 38 main lines here that I pulled out of that box that are actually licensed. I mean, you if you were to just put an average value of about two, two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents on each one of them, I mean that more than justifies just buying this box if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for the main lines you just want to complete your set here for 2022 this is a valid option guys because it saves you that time and money at the pump your time and effort to go out there to just drive around town aimlessly looking for this stuff so just my two cents let me know if you have had experience with these amazon 50 count boxes or if you plan to get one keep us updated let me know what you got out of your mix like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars